So you may have seen this video of a Tesla Semi driving around California. We're not exactly sure what it's doing, but it's real and you can see it in the flesh. I'm not sure what they're doing with it either. I did see that video. I think what's going on is, I saw the truck when it was revealed in Los Angeles, and I think most of the trucks are being kept down there at Tesla's design studio. Uh, somehow, one of them made it up to Northern California, and I think it's just going back and forth between Tesla's headquarters, which is in Deer Creek in Silicon Valley, and Fremont, which is where their factory is on the uh, east side of the, uh, of, the, of the San Francisco Bay. We know they can't even build their Model 3 sedan. Yeah. How the heck are they gonna build a truck? That's an excellent question. Question. They have one factory in Fremont, California, which is currently pretty well maxed out, trying to build the uh, Model 3, which is their new mass market vehicle. They hope to sell it for 35 grand one of these days. And then their other two cars, the Model S sedan and the Model X SUV. So it was just there as well. And I don't think they really have room to build a semi truck in there. So you look at the situation and go, and they're supposed to be building a lot more Model 3s at this point, and they aren't. Right. You, 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 it's, a, it's a puzzling thing. Why can't Tesla do a better job at its core what, is, what should be its core competency, which is building stuff. They seem really good at, as you pointed out already, designing stuff, doing really dynamic and interesting uh, reveals of the, of, the, of the vehicles that they intend to produce. And then when it gets down to the nuts and bolts aspect of just bolting everything together and rolling it on the assembly line and getting it out to the customers, they struggle. Folks are putting money down to buy this truck, you know, deposits. The truck itself is gonna be priced anywhere from $150,000 to $200,000, I guess, that general ballpark by the time they get around to actually building it. Why are people plopping down this much cash for a truck that they can't have? Well, there have been some cynics out there who said, oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. These big companies are plunking down their deposits to get their, eventually get their semi, their Tesla semis. And isn't this just marketing? Isn't this just a way for them to say, hey, we're on with the green future, the sustainable future. We're down with electric uh, transportation. On the other hand, you might be looking at the truck and saying, well, it's probably going to be, they're going to operate it in a fleet context anyway. It's probably going to be cheaper to operate over the long haul than my diesel trucks are. If I have a central place where I can charge them up. Um, it's supposed to be a lot faster than a uh, than a present day diesel truck. Performance. And Tesla's always distinguished themselves on the performance of the, of the vehicles. You got to think about um, how cool it is, right? If you get inside the cab of the truck, it's nothing like a traditional, you know, tractor trailer big rig. It's nothing like that at all. It's it's almost like the deck of a spaceship. There's a couple big screens. It's all glass. The driver sits in the middle as opposed to sitting off to the side. And they really kind of thought through um, self-driving aspects of the truck, the driver's comfort, the driver's safety, uh, all kinds of things along those lines. So, I mean, it looks like a pretty appealing product and it really doesn't look anything like, you know, big rigs that are on the road right now. But to, to wrap this whole, whole thing up, um, in the grand scheme of things, where does the Tesla Semi exist uh, in sort of automotive history? Well, nobody else is really, you know, directly attacking this problem. I mean, most of the big truck makers are going to stick are sticking with the platforms they've got. I mean, they might be thinking about hybridizing the big diesels, you know, instead of making them full electric. Tesla's going full electric. I mean, if the if it is successful, it will be much more revolutionary and much more game-changing than doing the consumer autos.